Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. So I'm doing now a new video to speak about a very nice feature that is on Microtech, which is auto upgrade. So auto upgrade, if we go to the Microtech Winbox, you can see it over here. If we go to the system, we go to auto upgrade. So what is this auto upgrade and what is the function of this auto upgrade? That is something that I'm going to explain to you in uh, this video. Before we start the, this explanation, in case you are not subscribed to my channel on YouTube, please uh, do so. So just subscribe and um, um, share my uh, videos to other uh, people so they know more about my work. So let's give an explanation about what is the auto upgrade. So what is auto upgrade? Let's say that we do have those two routers. Those are two Microtech routers. So now let's say that uh, this is just a simple uh, lab, huh? but let's say that your network is much bigger than that. You have maybe 50 routers or 100 Microtech routers. And you want to upgrade those routers. So normally what we know, we have to go to the upgrade and connect to the internet and then install the package and then to be able to make the upgrade for the router OS. That's something you may already know about it. If you don't, let me just show it to you right away. So normally what you have to do, you have to go to the Microtech router and we have to go to system packages. And then from here, you have to say check for update and your router needs to be connected to the internet. Then if there is any update, then you can download it. And then the router OS as well as all those packages will be upgraded. So that's uh, the way that most of times we do. The other way is to just take the package from the Microtech website and put it there. But in both cases, that means that we have to connect to the internet to be able to do this work. And connected to the internet, when you have a lot of routers, then you are taking a lot of traffic and bandwidth from the internet just to make upgrades for your router OS. So there is a better way to do that. And that's in case you have uh, many routers and then you have uh, you make one of the routers to be like uh, the router where you put the package uh, over there of the router OS and then all the other routers will take the upgrade from that router from the LAN and not from the WAN so that it's gonna take the uh, LAN uh, uh, traffic to be able to upgrade those routers so if we go back to the explanation here to the picture I do have at this moment router one, router two, they are connected on the interfaces, Ethernet two from this side, Ethernet one from that side, and they have the IP address. So that's the only thing that I have. Now, what I'm going to do, I have to take from the Microtech website, the upgraded version, and then I have to copy this file inside router two, just to copy it and not to upgrade router 2 because router 2 anyway it is already upgraded to the latest version just put it inside the file list now as this router 1 is connected to router 2 and they are on the same LAN this router 1 has a lower um, router OS version so I think it's something like 6.45 if I'm not mistaken so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to pawn router 1 to router 2 saying that uh, if uh, router 2 has the uh, uh, the uh, router as installed on it as a file then router one will take it from there and then you can upgrade the router one so it's just take the copy of that uh, router as image put it on router one and then it will uh, you have to reboot the router one and then it will make the upgrade so this save a lot of bandwidth on the internet so this is what we're going to do in this lab if you're ready let's start directly with the implementation so let's go to router one first you see router one at this moment he is on 6.45.9 which is an old version at this moment of recording this video the latest version if we check on router two this is the latest version 6.49.6 so here is 6.49.6, there is 6.45.9. So now what I need uh, first to do is to check if there is reachability between router 1 and router 2. So let me just put the picture so you can check. And uh, let's ping to the IP address of router 2 from router 1. Ping 192.168.88.2. You can see that those two routers, they can see each other. Very good. So now I want to upgrade the router one and I'm not connected to the internet on router one. So I just want to see a way how to upgrade it. What we can do, we can go to router two. Let's go to router two. And uh, inside router two, let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see better. All right. So inside router two, I'm going to go to the file list. So here I have to put the latest version of the router OS. Remember, router 1 and router 2, they both are having the architecture name MIPSBE. So this is router 2, this is router 1, MIPSBE. 
So that means I have to go to my critic website and download the package from, for MIPSBE. Let's do that. So I will go to the Internet Explorer or to the Edge. And from here, I have to go to mycritic.com. And from here, we have to go to software. And we are working on version 6 now. So this is router OS version 6. And this is the one, MIPSBE. And we have to get this table version 6.49.6. .6. So to win time, I have already downloaded this file. So all you need to do is just click here and then it's going to be downloaded. So I have already downloaded this file. And if you want, I can just show it to you. This is the file. Let's put it on the desktop. So here we go. You see router OS MIPSB 6.49.6. .6. Very good. Now what I need to do is just to go to router 2. This is router 2, and all I have to do is just drag and drop it anywhere on the router. Just copy it, and then it will come to the file list. You can see it's coming to the file list. It's being copied. Now, this router as version is there, which is 6.49.6. .6. It's going to be on router 2. Now, all you need to do is to point from router 1 that the router OS is on router 2, and then he can get it. So, it's already copied there. Let's do this experiment. We go to router 1 again. And now we have to go to System, Auto Upgrade. And now I have to say Upgrade Package Source. So where is the source of this uh, uh, upgrade package? It is on Router 2, which is 192.168.88.2, having the username pass, uh, admin and the password 123456. Very good. So that's done. Now we go to Available Package and we do Refresh. It should show up in a moment. Here we go. So you can see the package has been shown up. So this package, which is on router 2, if we look here, this is the router 2. This package has been shown up on router 1. So now what you need to do, you have to download. So you see, we didn't get connected to the Internet because even though that uh, this router is not anyway connected to the internet let me show you so we didn't get it from the microtech website on the internet we just got it from the lan now i need to download it so i just click on download it is downloading so once the download has been completed so you can see here it's saying to you 30 percent so once this is, has been completed we will see it inside the file list on router one let's wait until this is finished and then we can see if it's going to be shown up on the file list of router one. Here we go. That is finished and it is there. Here it's saying downloaded. Let's see if it's still on router two. Yes, indeed. It is still on router two. So that means any other router can also get uh, this uh, package as well. Very good. Now all you need to do just system reboot. So remember, this is 6.45.9. Let's reboot it and see if it's going to be upgraded to 6.49.6. .6. So now the uh, router one has been uh, um, rebooted and you can see that this router one and look to the version 6.49.6. .6. Excellent. So this router has been upgraded and you can see of course because it has used the file so it's not showing up anymore on router one but you can see it's on version 6.49.6. .6. So this is the best way to do when you have uh, many routers inside uh, your network and you don't want to get uh, the upgrade from the internet you can use one of the routers you put there the files of the uh, router os and then you can download it on uh, the other routers and you can do the upgrade so that is all what i wanted to show you in this uh, short video i hope that uh, my explanation was clear for you if you like my way of teaching please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, do not forget to put a thumbs up for my uh, video and uh, please if you uh, like to share my video to other people so uh, do so just by making share to the video so other people know about uh, my work thank you very much for your time and see you in some other videos